After being available on pretty much every other platform including flat screen and VR, Cooking Simulator is coming to the Quest 2 on Thursday for $24.99. I don't personally enjoy cooking games. My average daily diet is French toast sticks, ice cream, and frozen mac and cheese. Shout out to Stouffer's. So I'm not a big fan of cooking. With that being said, I'm gonna talk about this as if I did enjoy cooking games. I'm gonna talk about more of the backbones of the game, the graphics, the mechanics, the gameplay, and take my personal opinion about the type of gameplay out of it. That way, if you're the type of person who does like this kind of gameplay, you'll be able to decide on your own whether it's worth a purchase or not. So without further ado, let's jump in. Beginning at the start screen, you are given four different game modes to choose from. The first mode is a sandbox mode where you kind of just hop in and have fun. The second is their cooking school where you could learn all the aspects of the kitchen, both the ingredients and how to cook a recipe as well as the appliances and how to use them. The third mode is their leaderboard mode in which you compete against other chefs to see who can make the best dish the fastest. And the last mode is their career mode where you are a chef in a restaurant preparing dishes for different customers. As far as the settings go, there are all the expected options such as standing or seated play or choosing a dominant hand. There are a ton of other options to customize your gameplay I'm not gonna get into, but I did figure I should mention them so you know that you could customize your gameplay exactly how you want. The graphics were good, and when I say they were good, I mean exactly that. There was nothing that was mind-blowing to me, but I wasn't disappointed either. One issue I did notice is when you're cutting up something, the smaller you cut it up, it loses its 3D shape, and when you get to really small pieces, it ends up looking kind of just like a piece of paper. There are a few aspects to this game that you wouldn't usually see in a cooking simulator. For example, um, I was lighting firecrackers and throwing them in the oven and doing other stupid stuff like that that you obviously wouldn't do in a normal kitchen. This game isn't going to be for everyone. If you didn't like cooking games in the past, you're probably not going to like this one. And that's okay. I wouldn't recommend Five Nights at Freddy's to someone who doesn't like horror games. If you are someone who enjoys a cooking sim though, I would definitely try it out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, this is Andy's VR Reviews.